All right, so I'll start with a little system overview. I'm using uh, the Magnum Energy products. I've got two of the PT100 charge controllers and an RTR router control. My battery bank is a 740 amp hour 48 volt system consists of 16 of the Trojan L16RE-Bs. They're 370 amp hours each. I have two banks of eight. So let's skip right to the bottom line and then we'll explain how I set it up later. So for my flooded lead acid system at 48 volts, my absorb voltage is set to 58.4, float voltage is set to 53.6, and equalization is 62. The other important thing to consider is how long to keep the system in absorb. I've got my system set up based on state of charge and it will stay in absorb until it reaches 100%. So those are my settings, uh, current settings, and the other thing is I equalize about every two months for about two hours. Okay, so now I'll briefly go over how I set my system up, starting with the dip switches on the PT100 charge controllers. You use switches 3 and 4 to set the battery system voltage. Um, I've got mine for, set for auto voltage detect, so 3 and 4 are down. Uh, next, we're going to put the two controllers in stack mode. To do this, we look at switch 10, and it goes in the up position. So normally, you'd use switches 7, 8, and 9 to set the absorb time, but when the two PT100 controllers are in stack mode, uh, 7, 8, and 9 are now used to control the network address and no longer control the absorption time. So here are my two PT100 controllers with the dip switches set. Okay, with that done, we're going to go to the RTR control and set that up. So first of all, there's lots of ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you what I did. The first thing I did is set O3C to flooded lead acid. Then we go to O5B and set that up for the battery size, which is 740 amp hours. And then we're going to tell it that we want multi-stage control. Several options for this. Finally, uh, we're going to need to tell it when is the absorb cycle done. And the best way to do this is to use state of charge. I've got mine set to 100%. In order to do it this way, you have to have a battery monitor kit. Okay, so hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.